Hi, Hiram here. As you saw in my last videos, I've been making some little modifications to this grill top stove stand from Canteen Shop just to help it uh, get a little bit quicker boil time. The last change I made was one from Mr. Bill where I put bolts in the four standoff holes to lift the canteen cup up a little bit higher. I've gotten several suggestions from people to use a hardware cloth ring. This is one that you've seen me use in other tests. It's a free one so that you can change the size for different stoves and pots. Figured this wouldn't work on this because it wouldn't hang on to the Trangia. Plus several people had said to make it the size so that it fit over the top but the problem that comes in with that is there's a handle on the simmer ring that sticks out so that kind of gets in the way. Plus the height here, if I made it to this, this would be way too short to be useful. So I figured I'd go on the bottom and I made what I call a hard wire ring where it's not free, it's actually, oh, can you see that? It's actually wired in to keep this size. What I have here is a half inch square hardware cloth, two high and 17 long. It would actually be 18 because you need the uh, little pieces to bend over. And it's on there snugly so it doesn't fall off. But you just take it out like so. And then it fits on top of the grill top stove. If you move it around enough it sits on the raised up areas real nice and neat. So let's do a test here with this. I have my small Trangia stove filled with alcohol. Get this started. So that we get a balloon. <clears throat> now I've had a bunch of questions asking me, am I saying that this grill top stove is made wrong because I'm making these changes to it? No, that's not what I'm saying. This is a really nice piece of hardware. It's just that everything needs to be, you know, everything can use a little bit of tweaking to get it to run a little better. But I like it just the way it is. Okay, the room temperature here is about 54 degrees. So it's taken a little longer for the Trangia to come to bloom. Come on. I have a couple of other tests coming up too where I've had people request to see how this works with uh, Sterno. So I'm going to use a test like this. I don't know why this isn't blooming. There we go. Sometimes it seems you get the flame in the middle burning the alcohol it's setting there and it just kind of comes up straight and doesn't hit the uh, holes so if you fan it just a little bit to blow the flame around it'll catch then. Okay that's going I'll put the stove on center it you can see the flames coming up through I hope yeah so then the ring goes on that just center it on the holes. I have two cups of water here setting at 60 degrees 60 degrees and let's see where this goes There we have 210, 211, 
through 12 at 6 minutes and 13 seconds. 6 minutes and 13 seconds brings two cups of water starting at 60 degrees to 112 degrees in, like I said, 6 minutes and 13 seconds. Now with using the bolt, the time came out to just about 6 minutes, 5 minutes 59. So this just took a couple of seconds more to get the same amount of water boiling. Part of the, It might have gone even faster, I don't know if you saw in the film, the second camera film, that the ring was getting red hot. So that means some of the heat was sucked off the flames before it got to the pot and being wasted on heating up this ring. Nice flame coming out of there. So, as far as being handy, this weighs a whole lot less. I should have done a weight. I'll do a weight on this and put it into the text area. The bolts themselves were a little on the heavy side. What did I say? The four bolts and nuts weighed 60 grams or 2.1 ounces or 0 .13, 0 0.132 pounds, which I'm sure this ring weighs practically nothing. Okay, so I thank you for watching. I look forward to more input like this. Input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions like this. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. Good boy, Max.